Yeah, Hera, that's, um... So, like, I mean, you just gotta be real careful with it. How does one climb co the, the coastal trees efficiently other than premium? Uh, true Elf, the answer is... I'm gonna give you a shitty answer, but it, it's my true, honest answer. You don't. There is no grinding coastal. You, you Coastal is a tool for you to use... It really doesn't matter. You don't... Like, top-tier coastal is not good. I've played every single ship in the game. There's no, like, top-tier coastal that's like, oh, you gotta get this, and then all of a sudden coastal's awesome. There is the PR-206, but this is, like, fucking months and months and months worth of fucking, like, grinding. Don't grind it, though. Like, you don't grind coastal. You play it as a tool to complement... You grind blue water, right? And in the course of grinding blue water, you're going to be using your coastals to capture points. And sometimes you'll get in little battles on those points. Sometimes you'll lob torpedoes at big ships and you'll get kills. And you will slowly accumulate more coastal boats, but 95% of what you accumulate is going to be trash. The only thing that matters when it comes to coastal is speed. That's it. Like when you're, And like that's why if you're playing like Russia, you've already got one of the best coastals right from the start so you don't need to grind anything like you just grab just slap a g5 on there you can just ask yourself one question is it fast as fuck boy and if the answer is yes then that's a good coastal bring that motherfucker in uh and use it to cap some fucking points now on this map we're not going to cap shit now what we're going to do is we're going to wait just a second a lot of people in naval they will spawn immediately wait just wait especially on a map like this Give it a second, see where your team goes, especially see where your squad mate goes. Like, I've got a random squad mate, so my team is up here. Now, I wouldn't have chosen this. I would have chosen to be a little further away from their air spawn. I would have chosen down here, but this is where you go, right? Now, about 10, 15 seconds have transpired. Most players are in the game. I've lost 15, 20 seconds of, like, shooting time, right? But most players are in the game. They've selected a target. You can already hear them shooting at each other. They are not going to switch targets now. Now I spawn, and I'm with my team, I'm with my squad mate, everybody's shooting at everybody else, I'm, hit, I'm hitting the water immediately, just fucking dumping torps, I'm targeting that light cruiser over there, I'm lighting, I'm bringing, uh, HE's loaded by default, so I'm gonna keep uh, HE in the tube, but I'm gonna turn the other direction, I'm gonna get my other torpedoes out, and I'm gonna fire some shots at this guy. I'm looking at the distance, I'm converging on him, but not that much, so I'm going to remove about 70 yards there and fire fire all. And then we're going to bring our uh, port side torpedoes online, and we're going to get those in the water. Name me the game, if you've got torpedoes on your ship, t torpedoes are hot potatoes. Get them off your ship. The moment you have them, get fucking rid of them. Don't ever fucking, like, your tor torpedoes are not health potions for you to go through Zelda and never fucking use, saving them for that next big fight, and then all of a sudden the next big fight never comes and you finish the game with 100 health potions. Torpedoes are fucking hot potatoes, you get fucking rid of them. Just launch them in the general direction of the enemy. So I'm watching his yardage here, you see I'm coming down, but, but not by very much. He's at a full stop over there, so I'm removing just a little bit here. And this is why I'm measuring in yards, because I'm able to tell the distance uh, one digit's place more precisely than if I were to be measuring in meters, because if I was measuring in meters, it would be getting converted to kilometers. If it was getting converted to kilometers, it's going to chop off the single digit's place. Because I'm not chopping off that single digit's place, I'm able to see this. Now, uh, uh, I am not, I'm sailing straight, but I'm not sailing straight. What I'm doing is, if you look down at my rudder, I'm just tapping my A key because my guns are angled off the 2 o'clock position, so I'm going to keep tapping my A key doing a left port side turn in order to stay and uh, I'm basically never letting my, my rudder be centered up, right? And I'm just beating the ever-living shit out of this guy. I'm unzooming every so often, kind of looking around, seeing if anything's coming in, checking my fucking radar, seeing if there's any fucking airplanes coming in or anything like that. And you can see I'm slowly turning so that I'm broadside on this guy. But I'm keeping my speed up. I'm not doing a full turn. I'm not holding the A key. I'm tapping it. I'm keeping my rudder at about, like, one quarter left. And in so doing, it's not very much disrupting my gun solution. But if some little asshole is firing torpedoes at me, those torpedoes are not going to hit me. 
uh, they're going to go next to me, and I'll have a very, very good chance of avoiding them. Once my, once this guy dies, or when my uh, guns, you know, reach like the five o'clock position and they can no longer train, boom! Torpedoes are online. What do we do? Hot potatoes. Get rid of them. Torpedoes are also a really good sign. Here's another thing about naval. Like sometimes I'll sit there and I'll shoot the same guy till he's dead. Don't do that. Your torpedoes are ready. Fucking spin the ship around. Pick a different target. We're gonna target this fucking heavy cruiser. What do we use on heavy cruisers? We use armor piercing. We got our fucking torpedoes ready to go. I already dumped the whole starboard side off. I've got my my range measurement coming online, but we're still gonna take a little shot anyway, because you know what? We got a million fucking bullets. Use them. Shoot the whole fucking time. And look, like, it, eventually you get to a point, like, I just guessed to fire there, and it was pretty much perfect, right? And we're just gonna just fucking lob all these goddamn torpedoes, and we're completely changing directions. If somebody fired torpedoes exactly at me, those torpedoes are gonna go over there. But now we're going over there. We don't need to be anywhere in particular, we just need to be in this white circle. My job as a Sean Horse is gonna be to rush those motherfuckers. Where is the most of the enemy? Most of the enemy is over here. I wanna point my bow at most of the enemy, and I wanna shoot at not the most of the enemy, right? We're looking at his distance, we got uh, 11,200 decreasing rapidly, we're gonna remove about 150 and we're gonna fire again. Now this is an armor piercing shot, we should be pretty effective here, we're going back to tap. Tippy taps. Little taps on the rudder, a little right, a little left, and we're just gonna sit here and beat the ever-living dog shit out of these people. Don't stop, the whole time. You will fucking die before you run out of ammunition. If, if you're not sure if it's gonna hit, fuck it, shoot it. Just fucking throw it, chuck it in the fucking bucket. Same thing with torpedoes. Just fucking throw them out, man. You, you miss all the shots you don't take, right? But again, we don't need the kill. We don't actually need to kill, I mean, he died, but we don't need to uh, focus fire on one guy, right? We're gonna load up semi-armor piercing. What are we gonna do? Oh, nope, I'm gonna load up armor piercing. We're gonna hit this heavy cruiser. Uh, we're gonna switch directions. Somebody died? Or my torpedoes are ready? Boom, we're turning the fucking ship around. You don't fucking sail in the same direction the whole goddamn time. That's how you die to a shimikaze, right? Guns are online, we're ready to go. We're fucking hitting this guy. We're gonna hit him right on the aft side. Now, uh, you don't need to focus fire and you don't need to kill just one person. There's diminishing returns on naval targets. Uh, once a, once an enemy ship gets down to about like you know the 40s, 30s, 50s percent of health, they it, depending on how they they play it, they end up being a lot more survivable because you're having a hard time find, finding that last little bit of crew. Don't worry about that last little bit of crew. You cripple the fuck out of their ship. Let them like this guy is like super fucked. He's, he's, he's taking so much damage. I mean, I'm going to hit him one more time because my... Never mind, he's fucking dead. All right, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. He's fucking dead. We're going to hit this fucking battle cruiser next. Torpedoes are online. Guess what we're going to do? Poop, 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 poop. I'm not even going to shoot at this dude. I'm just going to fire a bunch of fucking torpedoes at him. And then what are we going to do? We're going to turn the other direction. Bring our guns over this way. Got another battleship over here. Guess who gets torpedoes? These motherfuckers, they never turn. Just fucking fire all your goddamn torpedoes at where they're, uh, uh, where they're going, right? And then come find some easy prey. Right? Like, a uh, little destroyer at 8,000 yards? What are we going to use on a destroyer? High explosive. You know, little torpedoes going where I would have gone earlier, but I turned away and now I'm turning back. We're going behind the torpedo. And right there. We're just going to beat the shit out of that guy real quick. And we're, t and we're still turning. And you can hear my, you can hear my little finger just, just tippy tap, just a little tippy tappy tappy tap, right? I'm just gonna fire like, here, here comes my HE rounds, and I'm good. And what are we doing? We're gonna switch targets again. This fucking destroyer right over here? Yeah, you're fucking next. So that guy just got the absolute dog shit beat out of him, right? Now this guy's gonna get the dog shit beat out of him. I'm gonna try the secondaries first, see if we can get a little bit of a lateral correction there. I'm thinking right about here ought to do it. Right about there is pretty much perfect. You'll eventually get a pretty good feel for all this after you fire a couple thousand rounds at people, but, you know, you don't need that fire control system. Don't wait on it. A lot of people sit there and then they'll target somebody and they won't shoot till the FCS tells them where to shoot. Fucking throw it out there, man. Uh, and, and when you start making judgment calls, 
and you start looking at what the... Oh, hold on. We got an airplane. So X3, X2, come in here. Controls, unbind secondaries. Go to the secondaries, load up the HE, and let's avoid some torpedoes. Go back to the primary. I got the secondaries and the tertiaries firing at that DO-217 who's definitely going to come in here and bomb me. That's another big reason you don't want to actually like kill people, kill people. You want to cripple people and like leave them not in fucking airplanes. Um... Yeah, we're going to get bombed here in just a second. But that's okay, because we got another fucking ship. But we're going to hit this fucking guy, who's definitely going to launch some high-speed torpedoes at me here in just a second. But what are we going to do? We're going to launch our own fucking torpedoes. So at this point, I'm about to get bombed. I usually don't repair. Uh, but in a situation like this, we are going to repair. We're going to get those torpedoes back online. And we're going to start looking for a nice, juicy battleship target like that fella right over there. And we're just going to fucking launch all those motherfucking torpedoes right at where the hell he's going. And then we're going to come over here and find another juicy battleship target on this side. And bring our guns over this way. We're trying to hit that DO-217, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to eat a 2,000 pound bomb. For sure. Now... Normally at this point, I would spawn in a Ju-288 and I'd start just systematically removing all their ships, but let's just stay in the Sharn Horse for now. Again, my, my whole team's way the fuck up here. Uh, yeah, sure, use that, whatever. Yeah, perfect. And what do we do? Get rid of all the torpedoes right away. Does, doesn't matter what kind of ship you got, just fuck it, get, get the torpedoes in the water. Fire every torpedo. You can't go wrong. Now we got a bunch of air threats up here, so we're going to set our secondaries to fire at aircraft only. And boop. And we're going to come back and take control of our secondaries one more time here. And then we've got more torpedoes coming off the right side. We're going to aim at one of the closest people, which is this guy right over here, that battleship over there. We're going to start the fire control system getting ready. We're going to get our armor-piercing shells ready. We're going to go to our number two, make sure we got high-explosive shells ready. All of our torpedoes are gone. We've got our fire control solution on this battleship. We're turning to put them at like the 11 o'clock position. And then here is another nice thing about naval. Instead of firing everything all at once, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is what I recommend, ranging shot. Go like this. Yo, what's going on, Code Gaming? 07 to you, brother. Thank you for the raid. Only six. Welcome in, everybody. 07. Uh, somebody was asking about naval, so we're just... Well, they were asking about how to make money in War Thunder, and I was like, e easy, naval. They were like, can I make 600k in two days? I was like, bro, you can make 600k in like 20 minutes. Um, you, you, you throw a 500% booster on and, and, and go, go slap the tits off of a naval match. Um, yeah. I've, I've made, I've made 800,000 silver lions in a single match. So, he was asking for advice on how to play naval, and I was like, well, probably the easiest way is to just go and play a naval match. So you can see I desynchronized all my guns, right? And we are just slapping the shit out of this destroyer. Or, I'm sorry, this battleship, right? So you hear how all my guns are firing one at a time, and I'm sweeping my fire over the deck. If all nine of your shells hit the exact same turret, that turret can only die one time. But if all nine of your shells hit nine different places on the enemy ship, you can break nine things simultaneously. You got nine chances to dig into nine different ammunition compartments and blow up nine different magazines, right? So now we're going to switch up. So again, he's like basically dead. So we're going to leave him like crippled. We're going to leave him like, you know, fuck it. We're going to pick the next closest target, this battleship here. I'm going to load up armor piercing one more time. We're going to, before we keep turning, we're going to get our guns starboard here. And then we're going to get the torpedoes on this side. And we're going to make a port side turn to the left to open up our starboard side torpedoes. So all those torpedoes are gone, bringing our guns over here onto this battleship, and he's already dead, so never mind. We're going to switch onto this heavy cruiser right here. Uh, heavy cruiser, we're going to leave armor piercing in the tube, and we're going to just launch all of our fucking torpedoes, just generally in this fucking direction, right? I'm not aiming at anybody in particular, it's just kind of fuck 
everything generally over that away, right? So we're all lined up here. What are we going to do? We're going to do a ranging shot. We're looking at the distance, 10,300 decreasing rapidly. We're going to move about, uh, we're going to move about 250 right about there. And, and that's why you launch torpedoes, because they'll hit shit every now and then. And he's gone. And he's gone. Like just like just like that, right? Uh, the range on these torpedoes are about twenty thousand yards, I think. No, they're fifteen thousand yards. All right, we're gonna see about hitting. We're gonna hit this guy right here. This battleship. We got armor piercing coming on. Yeah, Hornet. Hornet cinematics. Hornet cinematics is Hornet cinematics. All right, we got a battleship here. I think he's at full health. We're not going to wait on the FCS. The guns are ready. We're going to go ahead and launch now. We were a little off, but that's okay. We're correcting. We're correcting with the rest of our shots. So first four shells will kind of miss forward, but then that fire is going to get walked backwards onto that ship. We were able to correct mid-fire. Use the ranging shot. The ranging shot is just fucking amazing. Not enough people do ranging shots. Uh, we're going to load armor piercing on our secondaries and switch back to the primaries. We're firing it all binded. And we're just hitting this, we're just hitting the absolute shit out of this battleship. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to slowly walk, I'm trying to slowly walk my primary fire onto that forward battery. And I'm just doing a little bit of rudder steering. We got a torpedo, that's high priority. We're just going to check around us, make sure there's no more. All right. So we're trying to slowly walk our fire right under that forward battery. And I want to find that magazine. We're looking at the distance. Trying to find that A and B turret right there. Just absolutely perfect. Just slam the shit out of that A and B turret. You know, if you can get the magazine, great. If you don't get the magazine, fuck up his fucking turrets. Like, he needs them shits. Here's the big thing. One of the worst mistakes you can make while playing naval is leaving your reparation on auto. A lot of people do it. It's the default setting. Most people never change out of the default setting. We just fucking blew up one of his magazines. Uh... The trick is, you don't want to fix, you, you notice that I'm only, uh, I should only be on auto on fire. Only stay on auto for fire. Fires get put out right away. There's, there's the magazine, right? Now we're going to switch back the other way. What do we do when people die? We fucking turn. You never want to sail in the same direction for more than a couple seconds, because that's how you get hit by a group of torpedoes like that. Like, they fired that shit at me earlier, but I fucking turned the other way. Now, who fired those torpedoes? That guy right there. That guy right fucking there. That's a fucking Shimakaze. You see, boop, 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 Shimakaze. Fuck that man. High priority target. So he firing torpedoes at me. Guess what we're gonna do at him? Yeah, I, I, I got some of those too. That torpedo would have hit me if I hadn't turned. But we turned, and we're just gonna keep turning. And what do we do with Shimakazes? High explosive, baby. Ranging shot. Sweep that whole area. Come into our secondary turrets. Switch to the high explosives. Bam. And we don't need to we don't need to get this guy's magazine. His crew is so exposed. We just we just need to whittle them down just a little bit. So pay super close attention to the to the closure distance. And give a nice sweep here. Because he's he's gonna turn away from me any moment now. And that's and that's what I'm looking for with that closure distance. He he might throw the brakes on me. We're gonna start breaking his torpedo tubes. Like fuck this Shimakasi, dude. He's just gonna keep launching like a million fucking torpedoes at you the whole goddamn time. So fucking tell him to knock it off. You know what I mean? Just like this. So now all three of his torpedo tubes are dead. Now there there goes the turn away, because that's what I would do. So we're going to start lagging behind, right? I don't need the FCS to tell me that. I don't need the FCS to tell me where to aim. I know what to do. He's going slower than me now. He's going away from me. I'm going to aim up and rear. I need to aim behind him and above him, because he is now diverging away from me. And you see how the FCS is updating to where I'm already aiming? Because I can anticipate this. Like, I, there, there's one move that the Shimakaze makes when he starts getting shot. He smokes and he turns away. And now he's trying desperately to repair his torpedo tubes, but I just fucking keep, keep the fire coming. Don't wait for the FCS to tell you what to do. Now, now he's obscured by smoke, but that's okay, because he's not going to be obscured for long. And I can get him here in just a second. We got torpedoes coming in. Hard left turn. Should be able to get this pretty easy. The long lances are fast, but I don't think they're that fast. Oh, it might be that fast! Ugh, damn it, I fucking hate Shimakazu. 
Unless I'm in a Shimakaze. Should have been turning more, but that's okay. Because the game is pretty much over. Uh, let me see, where did we end up? So we're in first place by a lot. I didn't quite hit my 15k mark, so we're going to try to bring in a destroyer and see if we can hit that 15k mark. Damn it, game's over. That's the only thing that sucks about Naval is how fast the games are. Like, if they were longer, you could do more. All right, so not not my best Naval match. Definitely didn't go my way. We got the, we got the tits bombed off us right at the start. We got Shimakazied uh, fucking, you know, right, right there at the end. I didn't get as many kills as I normally would have liked. I didn't get as favorable positioning as I would have liked. 106,624 silver lions. Now, that's not a lot of money, right? Like, people are like, oh, that's whatever, 106,000? Like, that's, that's not that big of a deal, right? But look at the time. We did that in 18 minutes and 46 seconds, right? Like, I can make 100,000 silver lions playing air sim. I can make about 150, maybe even 200k silver lions. But I can't do it in 16 minutes. Uh, Hecatol, uh, your four monitors would be a wider field of view that I don't know is supported. I think you can go up to, like, basically 8,000 by 2,000. You'd only need three monitors for that. And four monitors is not ideal because then you're going to have a bezel right in the center of your screen, and that's where, like, all your important shit is. You always want an odd number of monitors if you're going to be, like, stretching. Don't do four. Um... Or if you do four, only use three for gaming. Because you want one primary monitor that is the center of your field of view. Otherwise, the edge of the panel will be, like, your main focus. Like, the exact halfway point of four monitors would be where two monitors come together. If that makes sense. The bezel is, like, the outside perimeter of the monitor. Um, anyway, I hope that... So, like, that, those are just, like, my crammed naval tips in a nutshell. Um, you can see the results here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we, we put up 105,000 in the... I, I would have made more if I would have grabbed that JU-288. Um, and... Got some kind of a reward here. We, we, we didn't even get our damage to naval target skill bonus, which we should have gotten another... Uh, we, we were super close, but I just needed the game to go a little bit longer. Um, and, yeah. And that's... And that's super quick, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Naval in a nutshell.